Hey guys, Michelle Geomatics here today with a trick to show you how to rescue yourself from ArcMap Hell. And by ArcMap Hell, what I mean is if you have done anything in ArcMap to the interface that you can't recover from. For example, you may have a toolbar like you see over here that's half off the screen or mostly off the screen and maybe you can't quite grab it or you've lost something, you can't find it, whatever's gone on, you can't seem to get back to your normal. What do you do? Well, one quick, easy fix is to find and delete what's called the normal.mxt. The normal.mxt is the template that ArcMap uses to present you with your ArcMap interface. Whenever you make a change, like move a toolbar, open or close a toolbar, or whatever, and then you exit ArcMap, you've probably noticed that the next time you open ArcMap, the same changes continue. The normal.mxt is what saves those changes and presents you with what is your normal template. So notice that I have my tools toolbar docked over here on the left. I have a few other toolbars open. I have this other toolbar that's mostly off the screen. And you can see I have my various tabs open here. I'm just going to exit out of this blank map document. And then I'll come and start ArcMap again. And you can see that it remembers the changes for the most part that we saw last time. The same toolbars are open. It did move this one toolbar that I had tried to force off the edge of the page. You may not be so fortunate. You may have a hard time finding a toolbar or a dialog box. Now I'm going to close ArcMap again and come into Windows Explorer. Now the normal.mxt is stored deep in your user profile and its location varies with your operating system and the version of ArcMap that you have installed. Instead of memorizing all the possible locations for it, I prefer to just come into Windows Explorer and search for it. Now before you search for it, you're going to have to make sure that you have a setting to display hidden files. So I'm going to go into my folder and search options. On the View tab, you can see that I have chosen to show hidden files, folders, and drives. If your setting is set to do not show those same objects, you'll have to change it and then apply to all folders. Otherwise, when you search for the normal.mxt, it won't show up. So I'm just going to type in normal.mxt and hit the enter button to search for this. And after it finds it, I can see its location. It's in my user profile, buried deep inside of a templates folder. So here's the normal.mxt. I'm just going to right click and delete it. I am not deleting anything important. I'm just getting rid of the normal.mxt. If we go look for it in my user profile, <laughs> app data, roaming, Esri, Desktop 10.3, ArcMap, Templates, and there's no normal.mxt in there. I've just deleted it. All right, so let's open up ArcMap again. It looks for the normal.mxt. It'll see that there's none there, and it'll generate the default normal.mxt that you see the very first time you open ArcMap after installing a new version. And when I look at my toolbar configuration, you see I've got the out-of-the-box default look of ArcMap. So there's my tools toolbar. I really like it to be docked over here. You see I've lost some of my tabs for the toolbox window, which I like to have docked over here. And I also like to have my results tab from geoprocessing open. Uh, if I want to open any other toolbars, like my Trimble Positions toolbar, I like to keep this one open. Now I've told my normal.mxt how I want it to behave, and it should look and feel this way the next time I open ArcMap. So any toolbars or dialogues that were lost on the edges of the screen, anything you may have messed up in customized mode, all sin should be forgiven, and you have the out-of-the-box 
normal.mxt. All right, my friends, I hope this helps you in your GIS journey. This is Michelle Geomatic saying goodbye for now. Thank you.